I am on holiday at the moment, as it were, because I'm a supply teacher and I no longer have to wake up at half past seven ready for the call at the quarter to eight in the morning, just in case. Um, it's an interesting job being a supply teacher. I do actually enjoy it, um, but it has, it has its moments. Um, many, many years ago, I read, when I was a full-time teacher, I read somewhere that research has shown that statistically, it's probable that every teacher will teach at least one murderer during their career. <laughs> so I've never forgotten that statistic. In fact, I know which murderer I taught. Uh, and this is based on that. It's called Agency Teacher, and it's for Eamon, as I told him about it. Lesson one. In the classroom, the agency teacher with practice difficulty wins the right to speak to ten gangsters grinning, eight girls giggling, five sneering cynics, four seekers after knowledge, two future jailbirds, and one who may be a murderer. <laughs> Lesson two. Open your book, Frank. Read this, Annie. Date and heading, George. Make a start, Jasmine. I know you, miss. You used to be at my last school, miss. You dye your hair, miss. Where's our proper teacher? <laughs> iPod away, Kaylee. Mobile in pocket, Justin. No, I'm not pregnant, Chloe. <laughs> Morning break. Staff room tea. Stirt served by smiling housewife. Which gangster is hers? Which self-conscious girl? Which watchful, watchful cynic? Which hopeful student? Which playful tease? Which butt of bullies? And which one may be a murderer? All day in the classroom, battling head to head, closed books. Closed minds, closed ranks, closed doors, closed down. Four o'clock in the playground. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Frank and George, head to head, hand to hand. Kick him in the grabbies. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. One will be a butcher, one will be a baker, one will be a teacher, one will be a preacher, and one will be a murderer, but that comes later. <laughs> um, it being holiday time, I am, I'm going back to my first love. Before I started writing, I was a painter, and I'm still painting when I have the time. Um, and I, when, I, when my daughter was very young, we used to paint together. This is a little poem I wrote in memory of that. It's called The Artists. You and I at the kitchen table, painting. Two generations of artists, you four, I, 44. Your brush busy, delicately dipping, touching with care the white paper. Your left hand suspended above the table, wrist bent, hand poised in air. On your serious little face, intense concentration. I paint your flaxen hair, your red apron, your finely poised hands, the daffodils outside the window, but I cannot paint the picture that you make for me. <laughs> <laughs>